All right, when did you stop beating your wife? That is the classic loaded question from every introduction to philosophy course in the English language. When did you stop beating your wife? It's a question you cannot answer without implicating yourself in a lie, assuming you haven't been beating your wife. Well, in my case, the answer to the question would be sometime around 2010, 20, 2009 or 2010, somewhere in there. Let me explain. My so-called wife, okay, was riding with me in the state of Oklahoma. I was an over-the-road truck driver hauling hazardous material in Oklahoma. Caustic and explosive material. We're going down a two-lane highway, and this, this so-called wife, she had actually conned me into the marriage <laughs> through lies. Her name wasn't what she said it was. Everything she had said was a lie. But I didn't know all that at the time. All I knew was I'm riding down the highway in Oklahoma with Esther and Jenga. And we listened on the radio to Hank Hinegraaff, the Bible Answer Man. And he was playing uh, some clips of this famous um, Palestinian Christian preacher. What's his name? Um, it's on the tip of my tongue. He's very famous. He always says, uh, he doesn't say the Holy Spirit. He says, the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. What is his name? Benny Hinn. Benny Hinn. Hank Hennegraff was playing some clips of Benny Hinn. Benny Hinn was misquoting and misusing Psalms 82. And in Psalms 82, there is this verse that says, I have said, ye are gods, and all of ye are children of the Most High. Now, Benny Hinn, as these fake, some of these fake, not all Pentecostal, but some of these fake Pentecostal preachers do, had taken that verse out of context. And in fact, many Nigerian, especially these Igbo Nigerian um, false prophets and preachers, go around and they really love taking verses out of context twisting them, making them mean something they don't. So, Hank Hanegraaff, in America, on the Bible Answer Man program, was exposing these clips of Benny Hinn. We're listening to them. I'm going down the road about 9.30 p.m. at night, and we're listening to these clips of Benny Hinn, and Hank is talking about them, and we hear Benny Hinn saying, Yes, I've said, you're gods, you're gods. And Benny Hinn says, You too are a god. You too are a god. Like that. Now Hank begins to explain, but meanwhile, my wife, fake wife, sitting over in the passenger seat, I mean, really, she conned me and everything was a lie. Total con. But I didn't know this at the time. Sitting in the passenger seat, as I go down the road with 80,000 pound tractor trailer loaded with hazardous materials, people behind me, 9.30 p.m., somewhere like that at night, in a rural part of Oklahoma, she says, me too. From the passenger seat, I hear her, me too. I'm a god. I said, sweetheart, you're a god. Sweetheart, you're, I said, sweetheart, you're misunderstanding the message. This man's trying to explain what Psalms 82 is really saying and how Benny Hinn is removing the words of Psalms 82 from their biblical context, falsely interpreting them and taking them out stripping them of their actual meaning within the context and using them to puff people up and make them feel that they're gods. But the way, And that's very popular in Africa, by the way. And also among black Americans, but white Americans too. People around the world eat it up because they love that prosperity gospel. So I'm telling her, I said, but, but let's really look what it means. She said, no, 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 no. I heard it at church. Our prophet said it. Me too. I believe it. I'm a god. So I kept explaining. I said, look, Psalms 82 actually says, I'll read it now for you. Psalms 82, a psalm of Asaph, not David, Asaph. God stands in the congregation of the mighty. He judgeth among the gods. Gods with a little g, not a big g. How long will ye judge unjustly and accept the persons of the wicked? Selah. Defend the poor and the fatherless. Do justice to the afflicted and the needy. Deliver the poor Deliver the needy. Do justice. Rid them out 
of the hands of the wicked. But they know not, speaking of the gods, little g, not big g like God. They know not, neither will they understand. They walk on in darkness. All the foundations of the earth are out of course. Verse 6. Here's the one that Benny Hinn quoted. Completely out of context. We've read 1 through 5. Benny Hinn and the people who listen to him, many of whom are either illiterate, they can't read. Of course, we can't blame them for that, necessarily. And in many cases, we really can't. But other people are just so stubborn and lazy, they won't pick up the Bible. Are you hearing me? Pick up the Bible and read the first five verses that came before Psalms 82, 6. So I'm telling her like this, not as forcefully, in a sweet way. Believe me, I was sweet. I was sweet. Sugary, sugary sweet, okay? Now, verse 6, the verse of Benny Hinn. I have said, as Benny Hinn said, You are gods, you are gods. And all of you are children of the Most High. Now Benny Hinn stops there. He doesn't read the first five, and he stops there, removing from the context. It's like if I told my son, what example shall I use? I said, um, go find your sister and tell her to stop what she's doing, okay? And come back here to me. Now, two weeks later, her sister, my son's sister, she's doing what I told her to do. And he goes and he says, Dad said stop what you're doing. But what has he done? My son has removed the context, okay, of my words. My words were from two weeks before when she was doing something different. Now she's doing what? What I told her to do. Now my son is taking my words, you get me, you get my point, out of context, applying them in a way that I didn't mean at all for his own purposes, because he doesn't like what his sister is doing. Now, verse 7, but you shall die like men. If Benny Hinn would only read, so I'm explaining like this. If Benny Hinn would only read, sweetheart, the next verse, you shall die like men and fall like one of the princes. Arise, O Lord, the last verse, verse 8. It's a very short psalm, by the way. Arise, O Lord, arise, O Lord, judge the earth. For you, O Lord, will inherit all nations. And may the Lord bless the reading of his word. Now, I'm speaking to her like this. I read it to her. I explain it to her as I'm driving down the road with these hazardous chemicals. And she says, no, me, I'm a God. Me, I'm a God. I said, sweetheart, have you not heard what I just said? Okay, it's true. The New Testament says, behold, what manner of love the Father has given unto us that we should be called the sons of God. So God has made us the sons of God. If we're baptized into Christ, if we have his blood and his body in us, if we have faith in him and we walk in the faith, we are the sons and daughters, we're the children of God. But we're not gods, the way you're saying. That's not the meaning of this verse. She kept insisting, hey, you, you stop. She kept insisting, oh, me too, I'm a God. After like 10 minutes, I said, okay, 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 all right, I give up. <clears throat> I looked over to her, I'm driving down the road, hazardous materials. I said, okay, goddess, show me your powers. Show me your powers, goddess. She became furious. She got really angry. I didn't even see how angry she had become, but she became very quiet. I heard click, click. She removed her seatbelt. She stood up, she walks over to me as I'm driving down the road in the dark, people behind me, chemicals in the back. She starts the way I, I, only a girl can do, a woman can do. Instead, not hitting like a man, like that. She starts like, like that, pounding my head. But she's standing over me, pounding my head like this. I'm seeing stars, like in the cartoons. I'm seeing flashes of light up here. I said, whoa, I'm pushing her back. You gotta stop it, she just keeps coming. Boom, 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 boom. I said, finally, the third time, stop, stop, she keeps coming, boom, 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 like this, boom, 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 like a girl will do. <clears throat> but she's standing over me, <clears throat> pardon me. I'm still driving, trying to stay in my lane. The third time she comes back, punching me like this. I said, I've got to do something. I shoved her as hard as I could into the corner to make it stop. She slammed into the corner. She's coming at me again. I said, stop, don't come any closer. 
This has got to stop right now. Right now. I've got to pull over and we'll deal with this. But stop right now. You're going to stop hitting me. I'm driving chemicals down the road and you've got to stop it. Because you're endangering the people behind us. Even if I'm wrong, you don't attack me physically when I'm driving chemicals down the road. She said, ah, who cares, mister? Like that. Like a Nigerian uh, Nollywood. Yeah. So she's mocking me. And I'm saying, hey, this is not a joke. You stay in that corner. Don't do it again. Or I will, I'll hit you like a man. I didn't hit her like a man. But I was ready to. If she came at me a fourth time. I pulled over. My heart was beating. I couldn't believe what is happening here. What is happening here? I said, well, I stopped the truck. I said, well, I said, goddess, you show me your powers. I guess you showed me your powers, didn't you, goddess? Those are your powers. You enforced the law that you're a god or a goddess with your little fist, didn't you? I said, but even if I was wrong, you can't do that. 10 o'clock, almost 10 o'clock at night here, we're at a truck stop in the middle of rural Oklahoma. What am I going to do with you? You've got to assure me that no matter what happens, if I'm right, if I'm wrong, you're not going to do that to me again and endanger people's lives. She said, I don't care, mister, like that. I don't care, mister, mocking me, totally mocking me. My heart is racing. I said, now what am I going to do with you? You're not like an adult woman. You're acting like a child. What do I, I can't leave you here. We know nobody here. I can't call somebody to come get you. What do I do? I can't go down the road and I'm going to crash this truck because you decide to attack me again. She said, ah, just kept mocking me. I said, okay. My heart was racing. If you're acting like a child, I'm going to treat you like what? A child. I turned her over the bed. There's a bed back there in a big truck. I removed my belt. I beat her legs like a child until she cried and quit fighting me. She went into the truck stop. She cried. She washed her face. She came back. We went down the road. And that's when I stopped beating my wife.